Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here. We're back with Mushoku Tensei episode 11. Now, real quick, if you could like the video for me, please, I would greatly appreciate it. We're coming off episode 10, where we are now known as Dead End, and we need to build a positive reputation for ourselves because we want to dispel the negative stigma that comes with the spared and along along with um with um Rougier's, um personality trying to we're trying to fix that stigma that comes with it and we find ourselves at what i call like a moral conflict where you have rudy and you have Rouger who are on complete opposite sides of the spectrum when it comes to how they view things and when you stand on either side you can see how that person feels that way and you can kind of see it their way too but then you had Eris be the voice of reason in a sense not really but kind of like made Rougier like I don't want to say think for a split second but he definitely like acknowledged um what she was saying so we'll see we'll see what um this episode has in store for us so let's hop in episode 11 mushoku tensei episode 11 we're gonna get started in five five four three two one roxy um roxy left she would have left because of what happened that's just my guess by the way um, I might, I would, yeah, I would guess that she saw what was happening, the cloud that everybody was seeing, and she instantly thought of I'm Rudy, so she would have left to ascertain if he were the reason behind it or if he got caught up in the calamity. So that's my guess. Who are you looking at now? Who are you? Oh, are these the people in the silhouettes? She was the lady. He was the guy on on the, on the right side, right? I wish I could read it. What? Oh, the Millis continent, Zenitolian, hoping that she could be there. Search north of the central continent, find them sendward. Wow. That's interesting. It's very interesting, just the images that we were seeing. Um, freak. I had stuff I wanted to say reading that. The one thing I wanted to say, and I can get this thought out while paying attention. Um, I never thought about what happened to the beam after it took them. The furthest I thought was Ghislaine. I never, like for some reason, it never popped in my brain that it just kept expanding or it kept traveling and it enveloped more people or it covered the whole con. I never thought about that until just then when they made me think about it. That's crazy. Whoa, what's that? Those look like woods? Trees.
I'm definitely going to rewatch um the beginning of this episode after I finish up with this. Also, parting a little bit of my wisdom. I don't have any wisdom, but the wisdom that I feel like I have. Do right by people. The first time. So when you encounter people, you do right by them. Don't don't screw people over thinking that you'll never see them again or that um what you did wasn't bad or stuff. Do right by people the first time because you never know. You never know what situation you'll ever find yourself in. And you never know the people you'll need to lean on to help you. I say that to be the thing about Paul's letter when he's like, like, if you know my family, please help me. I don't like you guys could think bad about me or this, this and that. I'm not saying to be a people pleaser. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying do right by people. Don't be an ass. Don't be a jerk when you don't need to be. Right. Yeah. The interactions between these two are interesting as hell. You can, I feel the tension between the two of them. That's what, when I mentioned like those images from the beginning, from the um, opening when Paul, Paul's letter is being spoken. I don't like spiders, y'all. I'm okay with t- tiny ones, but they get bigger than like this. I'll, I'm good. Can we skip this episode? I don't need to see nothing else. You guys can fill me in. <laughs> I promise you on everything I love. On everything I love, I would... Ah, I should have said it. I should have said it. Damn it. That's exactly what is happening is exactly... I literally was about to say, one of these plans is going to go extremely wrong for for Rudy. Rudy's going to want to plan something and rely on his smarts, and it's not going to work. It's going to fall or falter or something's going to happen. Literally, as I was thinking it. And he fro- he's frozen up. They jumped in. The, they both jumped in action. She's a. She's fire. <laughs> she's fire, and Rudy's frozen. Is he dead? Is homeboy dead? Is he dead? Because he's about to throw this back on you. Exactly. Because you could have helped them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dog, I thought I brought all this stuff up. I brought this stuff up at the end of last episode, and it was instantly. It was instantly that this stuff got back up on us.
taking that responsibility. That's hard. That's tough. I hope this situation brings about a different way of thinking for Rudy or the, the beginning of a different way of thinking. Coming up with these super duper smart plans and all this stuff. It's cool in theory, but sometimes, you know, it just doesn't work. And sometimes you have to know when the super duper smart plan is a good thing or a bad thing. Because it would have been nice to have more people to be in this situation. But then you can play devil's advocate and argue that if those immature kids would have been in this situation, they would have been hindrance. Let's go. Wow. Did he just rip him in half? Whoa. That's critical damage. It didn't penetrate. It didn't penetrate. Come on. Good recovery. You gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move. Nice. Wow. She made sure. Wow. Rudy needs to work more on his um his swordsmanship. Not for the sake of being a swordsman, but for the sake of being able to react on the battlefield. Just to help those reactions. Double tap. I'm not trusting it. He's dead. Yeah, he when he when the snake flung him, he died. There was blood splatter and everything. Who's this person? The horse guy? What happened? Call me callous, but I'm getting rid of this guy. Because he's going to he's going to track us down if we try to leave. Nah, don't condemn them, even though they were doing like bad things before. Kill him. 
take him out to the forest, kill him. <laughs> Get rid of this guy. He's been a hindrance since we stepped foot in this place. He wants to keep messing with us. I'm a team player. One of those people, I'd... a situation like this, I'm doing anything to protect what's mine. Is he some, he's doing, Rudy. Rudy. He, what, he, he washed the, the um, dye out of his hair. Yeah, you keep playing games with me. Wow. Get rid of him. I don't want to hear it. You should have thought about that before you mess with us. Lucky I don't sleep. Lucky I don't slam you. Put you on your neck. Keep playing games with us. I'm rocking with Rudy Jared on this. Now, I wonder if Rudy Jared knew what Rudy was going to do and did it himself. That's what I wonder. The real deal. I'm not getting mad at them. This is too complex for me to get mad at them. To be mad at horse dude. Rudy lit literally. In order to get out of this situation was going to was going to betray him. So now I'm not about to act a certain way to other people that are afraid of him. I'm not about to act like that because I damn sure was about to do something. I promised him one thing and then I was going to renege on my promise. I came up with this idea to hide your hair color, to do all these things so that we could do this. And then in order for us to get out of the situation that I kind of put us in, if you want to like look at it that way, I was going to betray the thing that I did to get us in here. I don't know. So I don't know if I'm going to get mad at other people for being scared. Just as they were scared, you threw him. You were gonna throw him under the bus.
I need clarification from y'all. I thought Ru Rudy was going to do cool, uh, whatever the big ass storm thing was. Right? I can't pronounce it. Um, I was thinking he was going to do that. And then based from his words, I took it as he was going to make it rain so that the stuff would wash out of his hair so that they would see that Rui Jared is in, is a spurred, be afraid of him, and then leave them alone. That was my guess. But now I'm wondering, I don't think I'm wondering. What I'm thinking is that Rui Jared sensed that Rudy finally made a decision to do something. And then in doing that, stepped in. Maybe he was going to attack horse face. I don't know. But part of me, he shaved his head. Wow, he shaved his head. Join the club, my guy. Yes, sir. Nice. I'm getting a headband, and I'm wearing a headband. I'm getting a headband, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hope this headband gets here, so I can wear it. Put on in every reaction. Look at that, a pack of three. Nice. We're in a journey. <laughs> Are we spying on her? I hope not. Of course we are. Grab him. Are we going to get to our next settlement? Next town? That's a cool way to use the ending credits. Right? That's a really cool way to use the ending credits. post credit scene! Wait, is that where she's going? Oh, gosh. Oh, that was the end of the first the first half. Hmm. Huh. Okay. That was the end of the first half. That was a good episode. I like that episode. It was very nuanced. And I like nuanced. I like nuanced and and not moody. Not moody. Moody's not the correct term. Nuanced and Damn it, what's the correct term that I would like to use for this? Not moody. <laughs> moody is the incorrect term. Um, atmosphere. There was atmosphere in this. There was atmosphere. Um, I already asked, guys, um, 
what I asked for before about what was going to happen in that scene with the horse dude. Um, drop that in the comments for clarification. I I mentioned this during the reaction, but I spent last episode ask like like talking like out loud kind of rhetorical questions about well, are we doing this because we don't want to kill? Are we doing this because we want to protect the reputation as well as bringing up a lot of you guys brought up um being afraid of Rui Jared. I brought up about hoping that Rudy's either hesitancy or his planning not getting someone either Rougeard or um Eris or someone that gets added to our party hurt and immediately the next episode Rudy decides to make a decision and Rougeard is like I think we should do something else because they're not ready to be here like they're kind of, like essentially we kind of got to save them from themselves a lot of people need that need to save them from themselves and Rudy is like they'll be fine and instantly life is lost and he now has to weigh on that because he could have made a decision even though you can argue it's not his place to make that decision but he still had a chance to make a decision that could have saved their life and had someone lobby that to him and then on top of that after the person died had someone question him saying you know you actually could have done it so not only did he think it someone actually said it out loud to him so it's kind of like you have these thoughts it's the same it's like how social media goes a lot of people go through a lot of mental health issues and everything and they think a whole bunch of things about themselves and whether it be by a random person someone they know someone will say something and it can confirm even if it's not true but to the person it can confirm how they feel about themselves it's kind of like that you think something and you're hard on yourself and then someone says something that kind of feeds into that thought and it's just like now it goes from like you just thinking it too much to now it's just like oh no i am like that now and he had to go through that and i'm glad that we got to a point where um the three of them were working together even though i still feel a kind of way that's why i'm asking for clarification on what was going to happen in that um altercation was rudy summoning the big storm cell the supercell i felt like that's what he was going to do or something akin to it i thought he was going to do it so that we wash the dye I mean, we're just going to call it a dye as a, like a plant or something so that we wash the dye out of rui jared's hair revealing his green hair the red gem he is a spirit and everybody would be terrified that's what I thought was going to happen. And that's what I thought Rudy was going to do. So I kind of felt a way. And especially when Rudy's like talking about like betraying Rui shared. Because he's the one that came up with the idea of hiding his identity in the first place. And I was like, ah, I kind of feel like. I don't know why I, they kind of like bothered me a little bit. And it bothered me because it, it bothered me in a way where the, um, the show was telling us, because Rougier said it to him, that you were thinking about a lot. There was a lot of things that were on your plate. You were trying to do a lot. And not like necessarily one person shouldn't be dealing with all of those things. And I think I was kind of upset because Rudy said, I'm going to do this and I'm going to figure this out. And whenever we, we reach conflict or we reach the point where things didn't seem too great, I was willing to kill, but it felt like he was going to throw one of his own under the bus. I, like you was hearing me how I was talking. I don't, I don't get down like that. <laughs> so like, kind of like lifting someone up that's on your side to take the sacrifice. It's kind of icky for me. So even if it was something as simple as just washing the dye out of a, um, someone's hair, the implications behind it would have it could have turned out a different way because if it was going to go that way, like imagine if Rougeard didn't see what Rudy was doing as a sign of like confidence and stepping up to the plate and making a decision and becoming a warrior and trying to protect the things that you care for. Imagine if he didn't take it that way and he took it in a way of, wait, did you do this? Like, did you use me to get out of this situation? Like, 
I, it could have gone completely left. I'm glad it went right. But it could have gone completely left. You could have had a situation where it's just like, oh, so I, this is a hypothetical. I don't think Rujir's character would be like this, but I don't know this character. You guys do. It could, you could have turned like, I have this honor and I'm going to go through these lengths to get you home. And you like, if he were to like, think that Rudy did this on purpose and you would use me for your X, Y, and Z and all that stuff. It could have been so bad. And I was hoping that it didn't turn out that way. I'm glad it didn't turn out that way. But I'm like, that kind of, it, it stung me a little bit. It really did. But I'm glad we're on the same page now. I'm glad that someone else has joined, joined the club. <laughs> I am. It's a good look for him. I like the green hair. But um, it's a good look. I'm, I'm going to need the headband for sure. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got in terms of um, this episode. Um, some heavy, heavy stuff for me. Heavy stuff for me. Challenging stuff for me, I will say, too. Um, yeah. Er, um, er, she's dope. She, like, she's dope. She's dope. I think Rudy needs to work on, like, his mage skills are, are really good. I think he needs to work on um, his actual, like, physical combat. Not in terms of him picking up the sword and fighting, but being able to um, navigate a battlefield. Because we know he can. We know that he can, he has the mobility. We know that he can do it. But when it came to this fight that was happening, if Rui Jared wasn't as hacked OP as he is, Rudy's dead, one thousand percent. He's done. If like if uh, Rudy, if Rudy is dead, if Rui Jared doesn't step in, one thousand percent. So that's why I kind of want him to. I don't want him to necessarily lock himself into the mage class traditionally. I feel like it's a fantasy series. We're gonna get into the second half of um this first season some rudy's gonna discover something he's gonna get even more op so like that's bound to happen but um i just want him to be like a little bit more a little bit more mo like a little bit more mobile a little bit more aware of the battlefield so he's not like specifically just locked in one place put him on the move just just that I would like for him to keep training with Eris, train with Rui Jared, gain those skills, and turn himself into like this hybrid mage, whatever. I don't even know. Come with like hybrid all this stuff. He has it. I don't even need him to pick up a sword or pick up some sort of weapon. Just add the mobility, add the mobility to, to a skill set, and I think he'd be, he'd be fine because he wouldn't. You wouldn't need anybody to slide in and protect him. Unless we're in over our head, we're fighting someone we we have no chance, kind of like this situation. But um, but yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day, and um, I will see you on Friday. I'll see you on Friday. Hopefully, God willing, I see you guys on Friday. So again, thank you. I appreciate you, and I'll see you. Peace out.